This is Tokyo. I know, not the Tokyo they expected it to be. However, this area is still considered to be Tokyo. When people come to this area, especially during the summertime, we automatically think of the busy districts of Shibuya and Shinjuku, right through to the Sitamashi area of Asakusa and Tokyo Skytree surrounds. However, Tokyo is more than just that. Under an hour and a half away from the fringe of Tokyo on the western end is Okutama and Hachioji and the surroundings, in which the local people during the summertime escape from the summer heat and of course barbecue by the rivers or take a dip right into the cool rivers. It's on it. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get changed to the swimming suits and jump on. <laughs> so right now we got we got our life jackets on and our gear so that we can go canyoning. Got a couple different activities lined up for the next few hours as we go down the the uh, the river. Uh, I'll go down like you <laughs> again. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> In uh, the Okutama area of Tokyo, super hyped for this stuff. But right now, it's so hot! <laughs> studying right now I'm, I'm studying for my master's degree at uni all right so we're just setting up all our gear we're at the location uh, just setting up some of these unicorn mounts on our helmets that way we can put the, the 360 cameras on here and hopefully not have to worry too much about settings and filming stuff we can just do everything focus on the activity and I don't know that's the, that's the beauty of all the 360 cameras you can really focus on whatever you're doing as opposed to just shooting all the time the first course they were trying out is called Mononoke. And that takes walking through a place like this to get there. It's like a 20 minute hike. Ugh. It's super tight, isn't it? It's super sticky, super tight. To get up to our first location. So we just made it uh, all the way up to the 20 minute hike we just had. So nice! It was pretty steep to be honest, but then look at the view we have. Oh, it's so refreshing right now. You can just float in this water hole like this. Oh, For example, jumping in, probably don't do that because you could sprain your ankles. So we're going to go down this way. And we have a hand with the rope and climbing down. 100% excited, it's my first time, time to go. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's our first big challenge of the day, so mm. I'm a bit scared, but uh, I think I can manage it. You got this for us. Ya 
jumps down from here. It has a camera on it, does it? What? It has a camera on it, yeah. And uh, jumps here, had them toss the big 360 on the stick, on the big stick, and uh, it's in the water and we can't find it anymore. So, there you go, Marvin. Here's your luck. I am season two. I've dropped my drone twice. Climb it, so now I'm just going to the final check. These lots is sick. Oh man, it's, uh, it's quite an adventure right now. They're all, they're all looking for my stick for me right now, and I appreciate all of them, but I feel like it's lost, so... Hansa, can I have another one, please? Sorry. I mean, like, losing the, the, losing the stick and the uh, 360 in there is not as bad as this thing going for a swim, definitely. So right now, Fergus, he is a saint, and so he went to get goggles so that we can, he can look in here for us, but... Man, these people are the nicest people in the world. And I'm so sorry for all the trouble that we're causing. Fergus is back with goggles. Three sixty camera. Oh look at that technique though. You gotta float on the water so you don't mess up the dirt underneath, but I think it's in there pretty deep. Like, that water is pretty deep. I also don't really know how they climbed up there.